Hey Carl, here's your third video for your concerto. In this one we're going to pick up right where we left off, in that seventh line after your four measures of rest. Um, and then we're going to go all the way to the second page, um, to the second ending. Actually, uh, we're going to talk about this, I'm sure, but for our purposes right now, just preparing for an audition, I think that we should skip the repeat. Uh, that repeat was written in there by the originally by the composer, and many times um, performers don't recognize them. They don't they don't take the repeats. And I think just for our purposes, we don't really need that repeat when preparing for an audition. Um, later, if you should happen to win the competition, um, if the con if the conductor decides that they want that repeat, then we should be prepared to do it. But I think until we get that far, we can just concentrate on playing it once. Okay? Here we go. We're going to go uh, from that two measures um, at the end of the, of the seventh line. Start on the, on the D, on A string. Here we go. Ready? Play. really challenging, right? Because you've got different, you're, you're playing three different strings on triplets. But if you think back to your Bach prelude, whenever you had to play three, um, three notes really quickly, or three strings really quickly, this is the same pattern, okay, where it's open strings and then just one on A. Alright, so if you do like, um, um, what am I thinking of? A ship that's in, a, in, in the water and it's going back and forth like this. <laughs> you can think of that. That's the motion that your bow is going to use. Okay, so it sounds like, it looks like this. So if you can train your arm to do that and then approach the music, you'll be a lot more comfortable. Alright, so picking up at tempo one. One. Two, da, da, three, and a ready play. <laughs> Today. Um, if you have any questions, of course, let me know, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.